green flag. Darren Pittman to the cushion. Donnie shots down low, side by side for the lead. Down the back straightaway, Pittman forges ahead into turn three. Out of corner number four, lap number one will be led by the great clip number nine. Darren Pittman in front. Donnie Schultz takes a peek to the inside at one and two. Four even, but cannot complete a pass. Shane Stewart running in the third spot. Stewart now gaining a little ground on Donnie Schultz. Meanwhile, Logan Schultz running for the Kiri Manson in fifth. Stewart to the inside, cleanly by the 23C of Tyler Courtney. Shane Stewart continuing his pursuit of race leader Darren Pittman. Stewart goes back to the cushion and turns one and two. Donnie Schultz running the very bottom of the speedway has pulled away slightly from the 1S of Logan Schuhart. Here's Stewart to the inside of Pittman. Can't make anything happen in the race for the lead. Heavier traffic now in front of the leaders. They close in on Caleb Armstrong, Greg Wilson, and Craig Kinzer. Stewart to the inside, looking for the lead. Sly job, he's got it. Shane Stewart takes the lead out of turn four. Stewart will lead lap number 11. Shane Stewart, Darren Pittman, Donnie Schatz, Logan Schuhart battle for the fifth spot now. Down the back straightaway, Kerry Madsen maintains it with David Gravel running sixth. Shane Stewart from fifth, leading it here at the halfway point. 15 down and 15 to go, and the advantage has grown to nearly a second and a half. Donnie Schatz now closing in on Darren Pittman, the race for second, heating up into turn three. Schatz goes to the low side of the speedway, can't hold it there, he'll drift high. Darren Pittman, Donnie Schatz, and Logan Schuhart, second, third, and fourth, nose to tail into turn one. Schatz to the inside of Pittman, can't make it happen. Lead over Darren Pittman has grown to three and a half seconds. Donnie Schatz in third, Logan Schuhart runs fourth. Red flag conditions. Car upside down in turn number three. Back underway once again. Logan Schuhart by Donnie Schatz. Also, David Gravel by Schatz. Gravel up to fourth on the restart, and Logan Schuhart third down the back straightaway. Shots back to the inside of Gravel. Shots reclaims the fourth spot. Joey Saldana by Kerry Manson and Saldana sixth as lap 25 goes in the books. Shane Stewart again opening up an advantage and now Logan Schuhart all over. Darren Pittman for second slide job between one and two and Schuhart's got it. Logan Schuhart second now down the back stretch into turn three. Three laps to go. Shane Stewart, Logan Schuhart, and Darren Pittman, one, two, and three. Stewart again opens up a huge lead with the two to go signal displayed. Donnie Schatz trying to creep a little closer to the nine of Darren Pittman. Both drivers go to the bottom at one and two. David Gravel on the top trying to get around both of them. Shane Stewart sees the white flag. One lap to go. Shane Stewart dominates the final two thirds of this event. He'll try the bottom in turn three, trips to the cushion out of turn four. It's two in a row for Shane Stewart. He wins at Eldora. Chevy Pace Truck rolls off. Barney Grick leads him to the green flag. The green flag is out and we're underway. Paul Pardo gets a good start, dives to the inside, three wide for that third position. Anthony Good up high, Jordan Conover in the middle. Barney Craig leads him, Ernie Woodard looking to his inside, trying to take the lead through turns three and four. Woodard will slide up in front and Woodard takes the lead, he'll lead lap number one. Rob Trent trying to work his way forward. He gets all the way up to the fifth position, just one spot behind Paul Pardo who is the points leader. Those two guys competing for the championship. Paul Pardo, no stranger to danger in the 410. Rob Trent right behind him in the 69. Jordan Conover can't quite squeeze his car down there. Meanwhile, battle for the lead. Barney Craig wants it. Ernie Woodard slides back to the fifth spot. Now Conover has the lead. Rob Trent battling for it. Paul Pardo is right there. Throw a blanket over the top six cars off of four. Jordan Conover, over the leader. Rob Trent is in second. Battle for third. Three-way battle between Barney Craig, Paul Pardo, and Ernie Woodard. 
Off of turn number four, Jordan Condover is your leader. Rob Trent second. No stranger to danger. Paul Pardo is in third. One spot behind Trent. Now two spots behind Trent, but the Conover machine is off the pace. Your race leader, Jordan Conover, off the pace down the back straightaway, and the yellow is out. And we're back under green. Right away, Paul Pardo looks inside. Rob Trent trying to grab the lead and trying to secure a point title. They're side by side. They make contact off of two, and Pardo goes the lead. Rob Trent back to second. Good battle going on for the third spot as well. Chris Douglas trying to look inside. Barney Craig can't make it happen. Oh, contact. Ernie Woodard almost goes around. Donnie Jeschke gets into the back of Woodard. Woodard able to save it, then makes contact with Andy Welch, but everybody keeps the car headed in the right direction, and we stay green. Two guys who have been so dominant here at the Big E this year, contending for a points title and contending for the win. And troubles for Paul Pardo. He had a bounce there in turns three and four. That allows Rob Trent to look back on the inside. They're side by side into one, and Rob Trent will take the lead. Move Paul Pardo back to second, and Pardo is off the pace. Paul Pardo is off the pace down the back straightaway. Rob Trent extending his lead over Barney Craig, who runs in the second spot. Frank Palladino, meanwhile, has raced his way up to third as the white flag is out for Rob Trent. Rob Trent, a three-time track champion here at the Eldora Speedway, and the yellow is out. The yellow is out as John Leach goes around. Pace truck pulls off. Rob Trent leads him to the green. A green-white checkered finish to determine our winner and our track champion. Rob Trent gets a good start. Barney Craig in second. We're side by side for third, but Frank Palladino has momentum on the high line, and he'll take third. And now Ernie Woodard looks to take fourth from Chris Douglas as well. Off of turn number four, the white flag is out for Rob Trent. Rob Trent, the Eldora Speedway stock car champion in 1998, in 2011, and in 2015. Rob Trent trying to go back to back, comes off of turn number four. He'll win the race and he'll win the championship. Rob Trent in the 69 is your winner.